In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to make a basic enemy AI that's based on how close the player get to the enemy. The enemy will attack and follow that player until the player is out of range or uh, maybe a melee or some sort of explosive. That's that part will be completely up to you guys, but in this tutorial, let's go ahead and make a basic AI. First, I'm going to start off by creating a cube for my enemy. Um, yours doesn't have to be a cube, but in my case, um, I don't have an enemy model, so I'll just create a cube and I'll name mine enemy. The enemy face is the Z, so I'll just create a little white thing right here to illustrate that point. Let's go ahead and create our enemy script and I'll name mine enemy. Attach the script to your enemy and let's double click on it to open it up. Now that the script is open, first thing we'll need is a reference to the player's position. So let's go ahead and create a private variable for the player's transform. And we'll name it player. Next, we'll need a distance variable. So we'll create a private float and we'll just call it dist. We'll create another float, which will be public, a public float for the player's, uh, the enemy's movement speed. So we use this to adjust the speed to fit our needs. And then our final variable will also be public. And this will be our close, how close we are to the player before the player start to attack us. Now our player transform variable is not yet linked to the player. So in the start, let's go ahead and create that reference. So player equals game object, find player with tag or find object with tag. And let's go ahead and put in player with a capital P, of course, dot transform. And that's the full line. So make sure that your tag is the same as your player tag spelled the same all right so back to our script and now um let's go ahead and get the distance so the distance or dist equals uh, vector three and we want distance from the player dot position so we got the player's position and uh, the transform that position which represents the enemy's position so we know how close the player and the enemies are. So now a quick if statement to just check if the distance is uh, less than or equal to the how close variable that we created. And we can modify that later in the inspector. So if they are within that range, we just tell the enemy now to just look at, so transform that look at the player. Simple. And of course, um, let's go ahead and make it move towards the player. So you say get component um, rigid body and uh, just simply do an add force and let's just have it move in the forward so transform dot forward and times that by our movement or move speed um, move speed variable that we made up top and we can adjust all of this within the inspector so let's go ahead and save our script. Uh, oh, one more thing. If you wanted to have the enemy melee or maybe explode when it's close enough to the player, what you got to do is just add another if down here and check if the distance is um, something like uh, less than or equal to I don't know, like a one, one, a two or a 1.5. That's fairly close. <clears throat> And then you can go ahead and do your um, do your damage or do your uh, explosive stuff. Explode, expose. <laughs> do your uh, script here that would you know make the enemy melee attack or, or explode. But in my case, I'm not going to use that. So uh, let's go ahead and save the script and head back to the Unity editor. Back into the editor, um, you can see that our variables are here. The how close, uh, the bigger the number, the further away. And then the movement speed is how fast the enemy 
will move. So let's go ahead and just put him um, a little bit away here from our player and we'll go ahead and play. And then if we get close to him, he should, oops. I think we're forgetting, oh, yep, the rigid body. <laughs> we're forgetting the rigid body. On your enemy, just add component and add a rigid body. I like to move my rigid body just up here, right above my script. And let's go ahead and play and test again. So we go a little close. It looks like he flies right at us and start going insane. So um, play around with this. I think 13 for speed might have been a little bit too much. So let's try a lower value here. And that's still not too bad. Um, we'll probably go a little bit lower. We got a little close there in the attacks, and then if we go too far away, um, he stops attacking as you saw there for a second. Um, so now you can just create your uh, enemy into a prefab, and uh, you just go ahead and mass produce these, and you have a awesome game. Well guys, thank you for watching this tutorial. We appreciate the time that you took to watch it. And if you did like it or it helpful to you, go ahead and leave a nice little comment there for us or hit that thumbs up button. Or go ahead and hit the subscribe button so we can feel like we're special here at the Online Code Coaching. Also, if you're interested in any tutorials, one-on-one -on -one tu tutoring, go ahead and check out our site at onlinecodecoaching.com. See you in the next video.